Warm it up, Kane. Warm it up, CJ. Warm it up, Kane. Executive spouse indemnity services. Life can be uncertain, and you never know when your wife will be tragically taken away. Crimson set me up with a huge life insurance policy on my wife. I can't have her back, but now I have a second home. I was devastated when I found out my wife was cheating on me, and even more so when she fell underneath the train. I was nowhere near at the time, and my phone records proved it. My life changed forever. I was a real mess for hours. Thankfully, the week before, I'd met with Crimson. Thanks to Crimson, I've had a penile augmentation and am much more confident with women. Thank you, Crimson. To have a Crimson Planning for the Future kit faxed to you, just dial 1-866-505. If you love to hear liberals whine and conservatives lecture, then stay tuned for I Say You Say. The future of America. Threatened again. This time, we mean it. I'm Dr. Phillips. And I'm also Dr. Phillips. Today on the show, do cave paintings in museums make us violent? The anti-beef movement. Both Hitler and Mussolini were vegetarians. And we take on the highly charged debate about test tube babies and actually talk to one. I have flashbacks and go into hysterics in science class. Do you know what it's like growing up in a beaker? That's all today on I Say, You Say. politics. Hey, can I do your job? You know, I used to be on the radio back in the day. Even my husband can't do his job, you strange, pathetic little sap. <laughs> Let's have a real caller, please. Hi, my name's Michelle. I'm a first-time caller to the show. I wanted to know what you guys thought about the proposition to ban smoking. Well, this is a simple issue. Smoking. Democracy at work again in our state. Seems like a good thing when you first look at it, but democracy only works when you agree with it. Then it's best to favor a totalitarian state. I'm not sure about this one. I think smoking is an invasion of my body, and I've always wanted to shoot people. I'm right behind the proposition. Me too. Thanks, Michelle. I also wanted to say hi to my stepbrother, Phil, who's been undergoing a hair transplant today. Hey, Phil, if you're listening, Ooh. I hope it's six this time. I won't tell anyone you've got plugs, honey. I'm really proud of you. That's great, honey. But if you want shout-outs, call the rap station. That's offensive. And I'm really offended by what you're saying. I'm a smoker. This used to be a free country. When? Ha! <laughs> Good point, Dolly. Gotcha. Yes, good point. But remember, our founding fathers grew tobacco. It relaxed them between stressful stints of genocide and witch burning. And you're so against raising taxes, smokers pay more taxes than anyone. My grandfather smoked his whole life. <laughs> and he lived until he was 32. So what I'm saying is, why can't we encourage more smoking and use the money to pay for better health care and some cultural programs, bringing expressive dance and sun worship back to the inner cities? Worrying about the inner city has ruined your academic career. And this woolly thinking is going to ruin your chances of getting anywhere with me tonight. Promise? The thing is, smoking is good because it lets people make a lot of money. But so is selectively culling the population. So what I'm proposing is a change in the proposition. Let people smoke, but make cigarettes much cheaper and force everyone to smoke. That way we weed out the weak, make a lot of money in tax, and keep our national heritage intact. Line two, you're on I Say, You Say. Ah, I listen every time to your show. It really made me think about the world a whole new way. I moved out of the city because it sucks. Now I live in a compound surrounded by barbed wire and shoot and kill anyone I don't recognize on my land. Just want to say thank you. That's some quality broadcasting. Yeah, uh, thanks. That makes me feel a lot better about myself. Have you got a question? Yeah, I got corpses from 15 illegal immigrants in my yard. I killed them all myself with my bear. Find a 
you'll wake up in a bathtub of ice. More gang violence. We go to the streets of Los Santos with Richard Burns. That's right, Leanne. I'm Richard Burns, and I am in a terrible part of town. A town under siege by hoodlums. Gang and drug wars are plaguing the city. Hey, you want this bird or what? Yeah, just put it in the van. A huge, sudden upsurge in cocaine sales have been reported. The street wars between gangs of Balas and Grove Street hoodlums came to a head recently when several senior Grove Street gang members were killed while others were incarcerated. The police described that as, and I'm quoting, excellent news. Back to you, Leanne. Hey, has this been cut? Bridges linking Red County and Flint County finally reopened recently after long delays following the earthquake. The governor congratulated himself extensively. In entertainment news, first it was the budgies, then it was Love Fist. Now the British invasion starts up again, this time from the Scottish village of Madchester. New band the Gurning Chimps are tipped for stardom. We caught up with the lead singer Macker when he landed in Los Santos Airport. The Gurning Chimps are coming to America, man. We're gonna take over. Mark my words and wipe my fucking ass. Lock up your daughters and get the drugs in. Manchester's area. Leanne Forge, WCTR News. Keep it locked on. It's getting worse out there. The news and all the other things that really matter to you, like people dying. Lady on fire. Bodies everywhere. And explosions. She is hanging from the trees. This accident is really cool. WCTR. In darkness, you only have your nocturnal instincts to rely on. Ultimate, Ultimate Disc, Disc in the Dark, dark. the electric-stimulating new game that's sweeping San Fierro. It's a non-contact contact sport where you throw a flying disc in the dark. I got it! Oh, get him! Nail his ass! It's a new competitive sport for the uncompetitive. An aggressive, action-packed game for those who love nature you and live on the edge. Bitch. It's harder than football. It's faster than rugby. It's about throwing a plastic disc and catching it. Pitch, then catch, run to the goal, and score. Ultimate disc in the dark. Just like a real sport, only we made it up, and it has a great social side. Uh, oh my god, what team are you on? I'm on the other team. Me too. Ah, uh, take that, silly. But if you catch it, you gotta know what to do with it. Some will struggle, some will submit. Everyone is laughing, you but it's your quest to come out on top. This is a great excuse for some serious fun and a way to meet people like you and never see them again. Oh, that's League games begin at sunset every night in San Fierro Civic Park or start your own game. And because it's night, it's not too embarrassing to play a strip version. Come and play Ultimate Disc in the Dark. If you're into exploring exotic places and for good... South America, everyone went extinct there. They have less culture there than the content of my toilet bowl. Rainforest, Schmain Forest. And Mexico, if I wanted to be that close to my ancient ancestors, I'd be banging my mother-in-law instead of my wife's best friend. Look, we can fight like beasts or agree to disagree. I'm sure the summit of your aspirations in life is a cheerleader with fake guns, but some of us think a little more exotically than this. Next caller, vamos, buenos dias and noches. If you don't smile, I won't deep. Harder! Sorry, got lost for a second. Speak. Hey, I love this show. I'm a huge fan. I visit all the places you've recommended, and in a lot of them, they're still talking about you. I even saw posters of you in the customs booth at the airport in the Philippines. You rock! And no doubt, I love Manila. Had a great time. But that show you did last week, what was the name of that spiritual center in Bangkok? The Wild Dragon's Happy Ending. Very spiritual. You will find it in peace. Awesome. I can't wait. Thanks, man. 
Yes, we all love to travel, get away from it all, get away from the people with computers in their databases, the police harassing you for doing nothing. I just hate showing up to some place to enjoy myself and people are being forced from their homes by war or famine or whatever. Life is great! Stop ruining it! Next caller. Hey, uh, the FBI wants to talk to me about a perfectly innocent collection of vacation photographs overseas that I had no idea were being taken. I mean, any ignorant fool can misinterpret. I, I was teaching them how to swim. I have a lot of experience with this. I want you to stop for a moment and let me read from my travel journal. I think everyone should keep a journal. Paste pictures, Thanks, notes. Sometimes people object to you taking their picture, but a few pennies of their local currency and they will fawn over you. Some people think this is patronizing, but I think it is fair enough. They need the money and I need the company. Besides which, it is the oldest profession. What? Oh, time for me to head south again. I'm James Padiston, and this has been The Wild Traveler. This is WCTR, committed to bringing you shows like The Wild Traveler, the show that takes you around the world and abandons you, you at the airport. They say living in Los Santos is the equivalent of smoking a pack a day. If that's the case, then I want a choice in the matter. So I chose Redwood. I used to sell my body for drug money on the streets. Now I've cleaned up and have a wife and go to church. And I owe it all to Redwood cigarettes. Sometimes when I get really stressed out, I beat my children with anything I can lay my hands on. Since I tried Redwood, I find a way to relax 20 or 30 times a day. I know it's bad for me, but what's more important, me or my children? Stress kills millions of people each year and causes divorces, automobile accidents, and even war. When stress is about to get you, get a Redwood. Redwood Cigarettes, proud sponsor of the LS City Marathon. Have you heard the number one gardening show in San Andreas? If not, here's what you're missing. Well, why don't you just go buy vegetables at the grocery store then, you sick offense? God, I just don't understand people. You Shit. go to hell. Well, screw you too, Mom. See if you're ever on the show again. Next caller, hello. Yeah, what's that plant that blooms every 12 years? Is it put high and smells like hell? I want to plant one on my ex-wife's lawn. It's called Amorphophallus titanium. God, I love to say that. Amorphophallus titanium. The sound of it gives me a redwood in my khakis. If I come back as a superhero, I want to be called that. on the front door of your office. Just see if anybody thinks of For the national anthem. Uh, yeah, yeah, screw it. Yeah, I got I got too drunk last night. Just uh, play the opening music. Welcome back to the Titan Zone! Now it's time for something really important. Fat men talking about games they don't really understand, played by people they don't know. I'm your host, Derek Thackeray. What a crazy year it's been. Let's recap. Drug scandals involving preschool soccer moms. Ha ha, woo! And the national finals, rich and popular people are fighting it out. Pay attention, the country is in mourning. And most importantly, sportswear. We talked to a fitness expert about the crucial role of endorsed clothing. And who could forget, we visit the greatest moments. Here he comes, he's in the shadows. There he is, is he gonna make it? Yes, he did! Ladies and gentlemen, what you have just witnessed is the biggest moment in world history. Who cares about a declaration of independence or discovery of penicillin? You have just seen one man score a point. When the rest of the world discovers TV, they'll be able to see this. Wow, isn't that amazing? He did what he was paid to do. We love sports more than you love it or loathe it. Let's talk about it. Stay in a tight and... 
Let's go to the phones. Yeah, the Wolves. Hey, Derek, my name's Jason, and I'm a Wolves fan. First time caller. I don't vote, I can't be bothered. But I will kick your ass if you disrespect my sports team. <laughs> okay, the Wolves, that's team playing sports as if they cared. Yeah, the Wolves. I don't care who's sleeping with who on the team. Yeah, I'm with you, buddy, okay. Hey, let's take another call. Who's on the phone? Hello, caller, you're on with the tight end of radio. Hey, I'm a big Olympics fan. Always have been, since day one. Been to every one. Me too, I love the games, especially the luge. Ah, I'm married, so uh, sliding down an icy tunnel of doom at high speed makes sense. Yeah, I know about frigid action myself. I mean, they gotta be kidding me. Since when has running been an Olympic sport? Running ain't a sport. Don't make me puke. Anyone can run. My ex-wife made me an athlete. I ran my ass off when the Red Baron flew into town. I tell you, when I was a kid, there were only three sports that mattered. Football, baseball, and killing communists. And uh, I had a great childhood, really great, even if my uncle did come into my room that late at night drunk. And, oh, it was... Uh, anyway, <laughs> anyway, look, who's on the line? We got a Caledonians fan on the line. Tough times, huh? Hey, uh, your whole life revolving around rich men playing poorly. Man, I totally identify That's with shallow heroes who I don't know personally. God, I love it. And this is W. CTR, proving that radio is better than TV. That's the show men with large guts love. Deal with your ignorance in one minute flat. Complex issues in 60 seconds. WCTR. There's a gritty new show this season on Weasel, where the law is the drama, and the drama is the law. What the hell did you go to law school for? I haven't changed at all. I was always over competitive and shallow. I have a disabled brother I pretend doesn't exist. I only married you because you've got great guns. Law. Catch it Thursdays on Weasel before it catches you. Need to meet someone very special? Lonely Hearts is next. Welcome to Lonely Hearts, the place where we make dreams come true, where we bring people together and we remind you about what really matters in matters of the heart. Great abs and a fat wallet. Hi, Lonely Hearts on the phone. Speak. Hello. My name is Zero. I'm a first-time caller and uh, uh, to the show. I've used the telephone before, but I am having real trouble with women. I, I don't know any... Yes, I don't know any. Well, we all go through lean spells, you know. After a drought, you'll settle for anything that drops out of the sky, especially illegal immigrants stowed away in the landing gear. So exotic. No, no, no. I, I do. I, I masturbate quite often. That's what you're playing. I, I'm just saying, uh, this is quite a lean spell, maybe. Well, that's too bad. Still, after winter comes spring, and after the rain, the trees blossom and drop leaves and shit all over my yard. Yeah. Well, this is quite the winter. Do you understand what I'm saying? Try, try a nuclear winter. I've never even been near a woman close enough to the grass. I don't know what to say. Well, that's odd, considering you give advice. I don't think I can help. Look, I'm just being honest here. I wouldn't even subject you to a hooker. Please, lady, I don't want to be celibate. There's a lot of people out there with a vow of celibacy. Look at all the joy they bring to the world. I'd love to help, but it sounds serious, and I like to keep things strictly trivial. Who's on the phone? How's your heart? I saw a documentary about this serial killer and fell in love with him. He's been turned down for parole for eating a guard. Oh, poor baby. And I can't get a conjugal visit. That's so terrifying, maniac. Love doesn't have to be a crime. Like when you would write your name over and over maniacally on a spiral-bound notebook in class, just wishing he'd turn around during algebra class and say, do you want to study tonight? And then he's so overwhelmed with passion when he sees your polynomials. And then you am- Hello, am I on Lonely Heart? Um, yes you are. Oh, I couldn't tell. I was on hold forever and I heard some pathetic woman weeping about her high school algebra fantasy. Don't you remember how unexperienced you were in high school? It was over in three seconds. I could never hold my own. Oh, yeah? Maybe for you. Do you have a question? I just can't meet the right you person. I want to meet someone special. 
phone. Who's that, your sister? No, that's just my wife. Look, I need to meet someone really special, ideally once a week, in a motel, wearing leather in Um, that's great. Next caller, hello? Jazz, remember me. I am Fernando Martinez. Oh, God, not you again. Look, it was a mistake. We all get drunk at funerals. Okay, the heart can only take so... Please pull off to the side of the road. 